Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Alu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies, which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions asked in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard, depending upon the difficulty of the question and a premium playlist, which is consisting of only the premium subscription question of lead code. And I have completely joined them into one single playlist and I ordered by their sequence number. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium question number 1285. Find the start and end number of continuous ranges. Let's see the question in lead code. It is already asked in Microsoft. See, it consists of logs, log ID, integer. Log ID is the primary key for this mean it will not be repeated, it will be unique. Each row of this table contains the ID in a log table. Okay. Write an SQL query to find the num start and the end of continuous range in the log table. Return the okay. Okay, let's see the example table and I will tell you. If you see 1, 2, 3 is continuous range, 7, 8 is continuous range and 10 is there, right? It means 10. What is the mini minimum of this? 1. Maximum of this? 3. Minimum of this? 7. Maximum of this? 8. Minimum of this? 10. Maximum of this? 10. So, what we need to do is we need to split them into different different categories. There is a nice shortcut for it. I will tell you. Let's calculate the row numbers from this by the increasing order. Then what will be the row numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's divide the row number from this log ID. What you will get? 0, 0, 0. This one will be what? 7 minus 4. 3, 8 minus 5, 3, 10 minus 6, 4. Now let's group it by their new column. 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 4, 4. Now the entire column got segregated depending upon their continuous range. It is very simple. Just subtract the row number from the log ID. Then the, the continuous numbers will have the same number and group by that and take the minimum from this range, maximum from this range. Let's write the code for that. What is the table? From table, logs. Let's write, select. I will show it one, one by one, log id, comma row number. Sorry, yeah, row number. Over with row number that only let me see row number and it's row number only row number over whole table we want order by log id ascending if you see each number with respect to its row number is there now what we will do 
we will divide oh sorry subtract from the same thing and let's see the thing here you can see right 1 2 3 became 0 7 8 become 3 and 4 became 4 so now the simple trick will be we will be grouping by this new column and we will be taking the map let's say 0 is the grouping the minimum of that will be 1 maximum of that will be 3 similarly everything let's call it some CTE table okay, now from the CTE table let's group by let's give some name for this something RK group by RK select uh, what should we select select uh, minimum of log ID as start ID comma max of log ID as end ID let's run it okay it got accepted let's submit it yes everything got uh, okay and also they asked to order by start ID but it worked anyway but you need to keep this yes I think we have successfully solved our question if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist for a SQL round just keep practicing and be disciplined complete all the 230 questions which are there in lead code for SQL round one day you will be cracking this round with flying colors thank you this is Samalu Prasad